I've been coming to this pizza spot for over 20 years. Really? All, all my working life in downtown Brooklyn, this is the pizza spot I come to right here on Adams Street and Fulton Street, right on the corner. We're here today to talk about a very famous piece of New York City lore, which is the fact that the price of a slice of pizza always seems to rise in concert with the price of a subway ride. Why is that? What's the connection between these two costs? It's been puzzling me all my life. Let's find out here at Tony's. What's the deal? What's the connection? And let's have some pizza. I love pizza. associating the MTA with, with pizza shops out of curiosity. You know what, I, you I guess I, growing up in New York all my life, I've always connected the slice of, uh, of a pizza with a subway ride. Do you really think the MTA, that was really their theory when they were just like, okay, pizza's going up, we have to go up with it? This is an album that's been covered by the New York Times, it's on Wikipedia. The, the, the link between the pizza and the MTA is sort of well established. I feel it's more of a coincidence than a fact that, you know, pizza's going up with the subway. And they raise their price, let's say, maybe $3 a ride. I'm not going to be like, okay, subway's $3, my slice has to go up. My, my, my slice is going to stay at 250 unless the cost of the slice goes up for me to make it. The prices increase for a lot of things to make a pizza. Dairy increase, right. flour increase, so all these things that's increase. We, like I said, the prices went up. Right. So we actually had to raise our prices just to stay in business. Right. What do you think sets apart New York pizza from the rest of the world? New York pizza crust is like New Yorkers. All right, we can take a lot. We're resilient. We stand tall even when things are put on us. If you're in Paris, this is your baguette. Right. If you're in Canada, this is your maple syrup. If you're in Mexico, it's taco. But here in New York City, slice of pizza, classic. Rap, we've learned about pizza now yeah. and how it's made and what the costs are. Right. I think we gotta go talk to the MTA. Yeah. Find out why they're charging us what they're charging. Internets, we're here at the Brain Trust for the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. This is where they decide how much money we're going to spend for an individual fare. Ma'am, is, is, is this where you decide how much we're going to pay for a Metro card? Okay. All right. How long have you worked for the Transit Authority? You know what I noticed so far? The pizza guys are a lot friendly. There's something about the pizza guys and honesty. They're, they're not trying to hide their costs. No. They're very, they're very upfront. Right. Am That's I paying too much for subway fare? No, you ain't. You know why? Because we have to service people that have attitudes and anger, anger issues, and we deal with that. So it's more your safety than mine. Price of, of a token is still 225, right. 250 if you do a single fare, but the monthly Metro card is going up. Should pizza spots not not give us a monthly pizza card? To, to match up with the NTA? Food has nothing to do with fare. But then why do they always seem to rise in parallel? I guess because of the economy. Raf, maybe we're paying too much for pizza and subway rides. We're gonna make our way now to check out a new phenomenon in New York City, the dollar slice. That's right. the rage now in the city is to get these places that sell one dollar pizza slices which you know honestly is the price I used to pay in Canarsie in like 1989 like a dollar I'm not sure. ready for a dollar pizza yeah you know but these things have been taking New York City by storm you got dollar pizzas popping up all over Manhattan I want to find out how in the world can you afford to give me a slice for a dollar how do you do it no no you, you have to know I mean, I mean Dallas, the people at the dollar pizza place are trying to go MTA on us they don't want to tell us the secrets so oh man this we, we've got to find a secret. I mean, you can get two slices and a can of soda at Two Brothers for two seventy-five. That's that, what you that's, pay for a slice at some other places in the city. That's right. That's right. I mean, that's that's they, they've totally effed up the game. Well, for one thing, this is a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. Each slice is smaller than the uh, than the pizza we messed with in Brooklyn. So there are service cuts. You've also got it almost looks like craters in the cheese. Like look mm. at this. The cheese almost seems to have holes in it. We could be looking at a subgrade cheese. And it's very oily. Yes, it is. Looks aside, the real test of the slice is the taste. Right, of course. I gotta be honest with you. Um, this doesn't taste so good. No, it doesn't. It's very, the sauce is very sweet. Raph, I gotta say that with all the service cuts the MTA has been going through lately, we're paying full pizza slice price for basically dollar pizza. I mean, the MTA has cut the, the B71 loan, B48, and the B54. The MTA is essentially charging me $250 for a dollar slice. Okay, 
gonna get any more New York than this rapper. Right? Shit. You wanna do New York? This is what you do. Get on the subway with a slice of pizza. A New York, New York. Big city of dreams. But everything in New York ain't always what it seems. You might get fooled if you come from out of town. But the ICs are down by law. And we know our way around. Or too much. Too many people, too much. <laughs> too much. Too many people, too much. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah.